59 episode Marifa Training 1. Uh, and we're seeing it in black, just for those who aren't paying attention to the end, because I'm trying out this thing. It's technically easier for me to read, so if no one comments on it, positive or negative, I'm probably going to leave it like this, because the candidate is easier for me to read, and I kind of prefer it, so... Thud! <laughs> the light sound of an arrow hitting the tree can be heard. It was stuck to the side of the tree, and if you look at the surroundings, countless arrows were on the ground. Mari finished firing the arrows and let out her breath. After you purchased the bow, we gave it to Marifa to check how she is doing. Even though she was able to gain archery level 1, however, the hit rate was really low. You forgot that one of her eyes is disabled. Come here. Mari was trembling. She is afraid that you was angry with her and misunderstood the situation. With her head looking down, she approached you slowly. I will not punish you. I am going to fix your eye. I forgot that it was unusable. Mari was surprised hearing his words. Scars and bleeding can be cured using white magic. However, repairing body parts was a secret type of magic. You didn't wait for the puzzle of Mari and just went ahead, covered her left eye using his arm, and cast it heal. Slowly but surely, it was gradually repaired. Is it healed? Marifa shook her head vertically to confirm the result. She was really shocked. Firstly, you didn't use any chance. Secondly, the level of white magic that could even repair body parts. Next is to see the result. You casted some enchant magic and Mari aimed for the trees. Shoo. The arrow fly through the wind, and the arrow pierced the tree right in the middle. It also landed deep, almost piercing through. Next is a moving target. The target is a goblin not far from their location. V 1. Yu doesn't let Marifa know that a goblin is approaching. 2. Suddenly it appears in front of her and swings down its rusted sword. 3. Mari was startled and couldn't do anything. In that split second, Yu casted a wind blade to sever the goblin's head. I never thought that you were a fool that can only stand. You originally hoped for more from her. Maybe she can do some close-distance shooting, wound the goblin using her bow, or even spirit magic. After all, it was only a goblin. Did you think I should tell you beforehand about its location? This is your practice. Inside the dungeon, they have more place to hide and perform ambushes. If I have to tell you about their location every time, it is useless. After all, she has dark elf ears. Don't they have enhanced hearing? Then you decided to lower the difficulty again. You revived the goblin using specter magic and asked Marifa to hit it. Don't worry, revived mon monsters have low intelligence. This process also amazed Mari. After her new ma after all, her new master could do enchant magic, black magic, white magic, and specter magic. And not long after that, the boar soldier appeared. Mari, who was immersed with hitting the goblin this time, realized it. Uh, what? However, it was three meter in length and weighed about 500 to 550 kilograms. Whatever that is in pounds. <laughs> What can she do with the short bow? You stepped in front of her again. He cast it wind blade, but it was only enough to stop its movement for a second. When its movement was stopped, from behind, a black goblin appeared and easily severed the boar soldier's neck. The sword momentum doesn't stop. It even cut a tree behind the boar soldier. Normally, a goblin's height is about one meter. However, this one is almost two meters. The black goblin slowly approached you and Mario could not... Eh. And Mari could only hold on to his sleeves because of fear, but the next scene left her mouth open. The black goblin kneeled in front of you. You then decided to check the goblin's status. Status window name, Evun, uh, Evun, right. Race, black goblin, undead. Rank 4, level 31, HP 1342, MP 378, strength 478, agility 298, vitality infinite, intelligence 32, magic 193, luck 1. Passive skills, swordsmanship level 3, increased strength level 2, intimidating aura level 1, darkness resistance level 1. Active skills, sword strike level 2, body enhance level 1, equipped weapons, iron sword, 6 grade, no effect. Armor, none, accessories, none. Now you the goblin king that I revived. You were surprised once the goblin is ranked up and gained several new skills. My king, I await your order. Who is your king? You sent a head chop to the black goblin. <laughs> Since you have killed me, the Goblin King, you are the new king. You are now the new king. <laughs> he ignored his persistence in calling you as a king and heard his report. He kept on hunting monsters without resist resting, and you is, uh, is shocked to hear the Black Goblin is eating the monster cores. It, is also, it also has eaten eight perfect magic stones, rank one to two. Incomplete magic stone may not be the reason for him to rank up, but it must be the perfect magic stone. All right, now you can stop hunting and follow me back to the house. Is it the king's castle? Is that allowed? Is that how we talked? I already forgot. <laughs> no, it was like a... Is it the king's castle? <laughs> it was like deep and like... Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't know. Don't worry, it will be easier for me to give you orders. Do you have any objection? I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> uh, you was also thinking of giving him a new name. It was hard to call his real name Ivun. How do you even spell it? <laughs> like, even. <laughs> and from now on, you'll be called Curl. Thank you. Thank you. 
It was an easy name to choose since his body is black. Let's just call him Kuro, meaning black. Yeah, yeah, we know that already. I know that already. After dismantling the boar soldier, they walked back to the house. Marifo and, and Kuro was with him, and Mario is surprised because Yu's house is bigger than she thought. I'm home. Inside, Nina and Lena are already waiting for him. Welcome back, Yu. I'm already hungry. Who, who are they? Oh, Lena didn't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is the Goblin King that I revived a long time ago. Call him Kurel. This one is a Dark Elf, 13 years old. The name is Maiva. In the future, they will go to with us to the dungeon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Nina didn't... I thought Nina... Honestly, I'm confusing a lot of the story with sh uh, <laughs> Shield Hero. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm older than you, so call me with honorifics. <laughs> I'm the biggest here. Okay. You wasn't sure what she meant, however. She said well, uh, she said that while sticking out her chest and looked at Mari's chest. Mari looked down for a moment, but when she saw Lena's, she smiled again. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Fuck this fucking... <laughs> After the... <laughs> After that, you've guided Mari and Crow to the room. There are a lot of empty rooms here. Although she was given a room, however, Mari seemed to be dissatisfied. As a slave, I should sleep in the floor in master room. You was also here to throat so, so she can speak now. I'll prepare the food. It was also you who said that. On the dining table, Nina and Lena are already seated. Although Kuro didn't need any food, he is here too. Mari, on the other hand, was sitting with a bright red face. It wasn't because she was angry, but she was shy. What, are you angry? Don't worry, this will not taste bad. You mistakes her again. The din dinner was salad soup and boar soldier steak. After the dinner, Mari was allowed to take bath. Take bath. She was afraid, afraid at how good you was treating her. Please give me your order. Please, uh, please give me your order. Please. It was like this. It was like this. Please give me your order. It was like dumb and slow and deep and please give me your order. Give me your order. Something like that, yeah. Kuro kneeled in front of you. It was like a knight waiting for the king order. Yep. All right, please don't let anyone else enter my bed. You can do it, right? Since you don't need to sleep. Kuro then stands in front of the door. He is guarding it perfectly, not letting an ant pass through. Thirty minutes later, Nina and Lena approached. What are you doing here? What, what are you doing here? It is the king bedtime. Please go away and don't disturb him. I'm entering. I'm entering too. You as a peace of mind, after, <laughs> after all, the one guarding his room is a rank four monster. However, it was futile. Not long after Kuro's scream can be heard. <laughs> Status window. Name? Marifa Nagatsu. Race? Dark Elf. Job? None. Level 5. HP 36. MP 46. Strength 7. Agility 16. Vitality 7. Intelligence 14. Magic 31. Luck 3. Passive skills. Archie level 1. Hawkeye level 1. Active skills. Bow technique level 1. Spirit magic level 1. Equipped weapon. Short bow. 6th grade. No effect. Armor? None. Accessories? None. Yay! <laughs> So again, to re reiterate, uh, any comments on the black would be great. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, no comments means that it's going to stay because, again, it is easier for me to read. So keep that in mind <laughs> because really bad eyes. Okay. <laughs>